Four ideas to earn $500 a month with your Raspberry Pi knowledge. Idea number one, the simplest and the easiest and it works absolutely only for you. For me? Yes, exactly for you, because I know you already did a Raspberry Pi project and that's all you need for the first idea. The cool thing in a die project is you can break it down for others and build a course out of it. You build a garage door opener? Great! So let's make a kit out of it, break it down to a course and offer it as a workshop for others. You build up some fancy car or a drone? Hey, great! Perfect! Use that, make a course out of it and do a father and son workshop. You have the basic knowledge for setting up a Raspberry Pi? Hey, great! Make a basic workshop out of it, make a small script and offer it to people. You did everything of this or even more? Hey, even greater! Just make a basic workshop and there you sell your other workshops to the audience. That's great! And the cool thing is, you can also reuse that what you did. So you can offer a course specially for women, for kids or families, or for people with dogs. <coughs> yeah, the dogs can play around and you can work with the owner of the dog. And funny wise, most dogs have Instagram accounts. So you can offer some pictures by sight and advertise your course to other dog owners. I think this is really great. Forget that one, that's my idea. Okay, how to start now? So all you have to do now is to go back to your bench and check the state of your project, make, make some small adaptions, do a documentation that other can work with it, and then you make a try run with your wife, your kids or your friends. And then you offer it in a small group training. You charge everyone $75 and in a group with 1000 people in the workshop, you earn $500 with the knowledge you already have. And you can grow from there to make other courses too. But what if someone raises a question I cannot answer? Hmm? Okay, to take this out of the world, let me answer this with my personal story. I was preparing a big workshop for one of the biggest automotive manufacturers all over the world. And we were there with a really small company and offering things to the biggest audience of the R&D of that manufacturer. And I was presenting something about batteries and this is not really my specialty. So it comes as it must. Someone raises his hand and asks me a question. And I was just like, I got no idea what he wants from me. So what I did was that I just re-asked him if I understood the question correctly. Sometimes you don't get the question right, but you know the answer. But in this case, it doesn't help. I tried to understand the question as good as I could wrote it down and asked the guy to leave me his phone number that I can come back to him afterwards, after the workshop. And then I proceed the workshop. And the cool thing in a workshop is that the workshop still works even if someone raises a question you cannot answer. And two days later, I had a phone call with one of the suppliers of the battery chemistry. And he gave me the answer for that, what my client asked for. So I called my client back and explained him the use of the battery technology. And then we had a small chat by side about different things. And at the end, we win the whole business. And this is what I can recommend to you. If someone raises you a question you cannot answer, take that question back, take your time, come back with the answer, and probably you will grow your business with this because people appreciate it when you show them that you give the respect and your time to their questions. And then they will book a new course with you because they know the value they get for it. But what if I don't want to be a trainer? Okay, yeah, being a trainer is not something for everyone. But think about, we all know these guys, like your uncle, your friend from school or your neighbor. You know which guys I mean. The guys that always have the latest gadgets but have no idea of technical stuff. And that's great. We can build a business with this. If you have experience building a home automation 
for lightning. You can make a package out of it and offer it to people that have no experience with this. You have some experience building a temperature mon monitoring. Great, make a package out of it and sell it. You have advanced knowledge and automatization of homes or other things. Great, offer a planning and installation package for it. And again, think about the different niches. You can make a package for families which probably have other interests than a senior which wants to have a more comfortable life and a more comfortable house. So always think about what could the niche be where you offer this service to. And a lot of people have no ideas of technology. I don't know how many people me ask in my life how they can transmit a photo from their smartphone to their computer. This is ridiculous. So don't be shy, use your knowledge and build a package that you can sell with this. Still not my business, still not yours. Okay, I'll give you another one. Some weeks ago or some months, I don't know, I read in the newspaper about the airport in England that was closed based on a drone which was flying around and they couldn't stop the aircraft because they were fearing that the aircraft will be harmed by the drone. This is a perfect business case for us. We can build a drone or whatever to fight back against other drones. Also, when you think about the war in Ukraine, drones are massive right now. And all you need to do is to find a way to fight back against another drone. And the perfect way to do this is to use something where we already know and already have. So on a Raspberry Pi is everything what you need to fight back against another drone. You can build a drone with a net that catches the other drone or you can just build a drone that crashes into the other drone and everything is on the ground afterwards. And everything you need is on the Raspberry. And believe me, if you have a great idea and you build a prototype out of it, you will definitely find an investor that catches your idea and you build a business out of it because there's so a big need for that outside. Oh, also not yours? Okay, I have a really cool idea for you. And there's one time in life where people spend a lot of money for a single day. Okay, sometimes they do it more often, but in tradition it's just one time a lot. And you know what I mean, I'm talking about a wedding. And what we do on a wedding? For sure we go there and sell raspberries because everyone on a wedding is spending money. Huh? Yeah, okay, not my idea. My idea is something I did on the wedding of my sister. And it works really great. At a wedding, people are willing to pay a lot of money for unique memories. And what I did was that I built up a unique game for my sister's wedding. For sure I didn't sell it, but uh, I could do it for other people too. And the idea was that I built up a bus wire game and only if you pass the game, the safe where all the gifts were inside were enabled and able to open. And this leads to a big competition on the wedding because everyone wanted to open that for the couple. So think about, if you build funny games with a raspberry, you can rent them for wedding days or for bachelor parties or for companies at a fair which want to stop people passing by. And the cool thing about it is you can reuse it every time. So in my time, it was just a really old microcontroller and we don't have all the capabilities a Pi has today. But when you think about it, you can make pictures out of it. During the game where people are concentrated, that gives you really, really nice memories. And this will tell other people, hey, this is a great idea. And you can decide if you give your toys for a rent or if you sell them to the company or to the wedding couple or wherever. This is a unique niche and you can use it. And if this is still not yours, here's a video where I show how you can earn money with a Raspberry using cryptocurrencies. See you there.